We go straight into the entertainment gist. My Jack Fashek's manager says Aileen Singer needs prayers and financial support. Now, a critically ill My Jack Fashek is said to be seeking financial assistance as well as prayers to recuperate in a London hospital. Pictures of the bedridden reggae music icon were shared online. And in the photos, My Jack Fashek, who's pictured with his manager, Omenka Uzoma Day, appears to be in a bad shape. According to Menka, the singer is presently very sick in Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Woolwich, in England. Now, in Umeka's words, so he says, sorry, this message is coming late, but let us all support him with prayers as we also really need support financially for upkeep. More updates with videos and pictures will be uploaded soonest. Reports also have it that the singer needs the sum of 2.2 million naira, but we are still unsure how true this is. Reggae legend Majek Fashek was one of Nigeria's biggest music experts in the late 1980s and early 1990s. However, things Things took a different turn years later when it was announced that the singer was on a self-exile, while according to reports it was because of failing health and personal issues. We wish him speedy recovery. Yeah, ah, absolutely. This is do. sad. Honestly, like. it's quite sad because I did see an interview with him about a year ago and I was just wondering how he was still very energetic. energetic he was yeah. still very bubbly. You wouldn't know that, you know, he's not a spring chicken anymore. Doing uh, music for 30 something years yes, and huh? still having that energy and just to find out that, you know, he's in critical condition breaks my heart and I just That's hope right. he's able to come out of it. Yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. it's a very sad one and I do hope that it comes out of it as you've said uh, because I interviewed him too some time ago and then I saw him even perform live mm -hmm. and it was very energetic yeah. so the way you hear that uh, you know I know that he yeah, was dealing with drugs at some point and mm -hmm. then it went to rehab uh, but you know I, I mean you know, I mean <laughs> I, well <sighs> sad and we can just pray and hope that you know all is well mm, all, will, mm, all will be well mm, with him mm. and he's going to come back on that stage we need that energetic magic fashion mm. back yes, okay we do. all right moving on to the next story Juliette Ibrahim reveals why she called off relationship with Iceberg Slim now Ghanaian actress Juliette Ibrahim has revealed how she got to know that her ex-boyfriend Nigerian rapper Iceberg Slim was cheating on her with his girlfriend of four years now in a tell-all interview the actress revealed that Iceberg had you know Know, initially requested that a relationship be kept under wraps as is the culture with celebrities but when she began to have doubts she made their relationship public now according to her her doubts were later confirmed after she saw chats from a lady iceberg slim claimed had he had broken up with now the lady apparently insisted that they were still in a relationship you know what let's just take a look at this clip from the interview asked him if he was single or not he told me he had broken up uh, from a four-year relationship mm -hmm. So, no, no, he was still talking to the girl. And that was the girl that sent me all the pictures, chats and stuff that showed they were still talking whilst he was with me. So Juliet Ibrahim further revealed that Iceberg Slim was devastated after she broke up with him because he never saw it coming. Now, in her words, she says, I broke, up, I broke it off. He didn't expect it. He didn't see it come when it happened. He was really devastated, she said. Now, you might recall that last month, we brought you the news of Iceberg Slim's public apology to Juliet Ibrahim, where the rapper admitted, I lied, I cheated, I took your love for granted, and in turn, I brought ridicule and shame to you. From the bottom of my heart, I apologize. Whew. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know. I saw this over the weekend <laughs> and I was like, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, go, go, go. No, no, no. I mean, okay. when I, I asked the question yesterday, when this news was, you know, making the rounds, was it two days ago or there about? And I asked, I said, okay, so Iceberg Slim apologized. Mm -hmm. I would have thought it would just die down. So he exactly. said he cheated. Mm -hmm. He already admitted. He said, I cheated, I lied, I lied and I took your love for granted. So I was wondering why she would, yes, she had granted another interview afterwards and she said that they asked her if she would ever go back to him. She, she said, said no. no. So I thought it would just go and like there, that yeah. in there. So, mm. oh, 
coming Why back to you say to, what happened. I mean, this, this person already said I cheated. Yeah, I did like, we need the details? We, I don't think we did need the details, but if that's her own method of coping and her own method of venting, she's allowed to do whatever she wants to do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like um, here is a scenario where you date someone in the public and you have to now break up with the person in the public. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really careful what path you want to take. And since they have taken the public approach, which is probably why we have to know when things are ending. But personally, I wish they kept it more private. private. Yeah. You know, um, some of this kind of gist is not just necessary. And okay, but then there was, there was sorry to cut you, Dari. Um, there was something she said in the interview that made a lot of sense to me mm -hmm. now. Um, talking about the breakup being private, yes, I agree. After apologizing, I didn't think that she should, you know, I've gone to you know, talk about what exactly happened, like details. But at the end of the day, it, if that's her way of healing and mm -hmm. whatever, it's fine. But then the relationship being private, I totally do not agree because the fact that she came out to say, oh, we're in a relationship and decided to make it public is the reason why she knows what she knows mm -hmm. and what happened at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Because if they had just been doing the whole, there's a difference between keeping a, pri a relationship secret and being private about it. Exactly. So he wanted... From the explanation in that interview, what he wanted was them keeping it a secret. Like, let's mm. not do this. Let's mm. not even when we go out. Let's not, you know, whatever it is. Mm. But, it, but because of the fact that she came out to say we are dating, she will post pictures, she will post videos. It's the reason why someone decided to reach out to her and say, look, you know, I feel this way. And that, that boils down to the question I was asking for Ladele the other day when we were talking about um, someone's divorce. And I said, I said, does... Um, public display of affection give you some level of security in your relationship because if she didn't come out this way she probably wouldn't have known the truth should have probably just been another side chick so so I feel like there's no correct answer to this question some people have kept it private and they're very happy mm -hmm. now as you said there's a difference between keeping it private and being secret, secret. now when you say private of course your your immediate family your close friends should know his close friends should know not that your relationship is just between you and the person then i feel like that's where the issue of um uh, trust might come in I mean, but then private is the whole world does not need to know but the people who are important need to know and I buy that. I buy that ideology. The people I important did not know anything. It was when she decided to make the people that are not important know stuff. So I think yeah. I know where Arika <laughs> is coming from and going. So she's asking the question because she thinks that when you make your relationship public, if you need any information, like somebody knows your boyfriend mm -hmm. or somebody is dating your boyfriend, they can just, you know, come up and tell you that well, uh, this is wait another person. Which was better they post his picture up on his ah. bed. Oh, you wait you'd, for... have been wa you'd have been way <laughs> deep into the whole thing. But I think that I think that it does not necessarily yeah. work like that. If that person is still going to cheat, even with being public, the person will still cheat. And some people would know that you are there, but they still want to date him with you. So <laughs> Hmm. True, I know that I'm good though. Okay, <laughs> just, just, I mean, do what suits you best in your hmm. relationship. All right, moving on to foreign news. Didi and Lori Harvey speak pregnant, spark pe pregnancy rumors. American rapper and business mogul Didi and his 22 year old rumored girlfriend Lori Harvey have sparked pregnancy rumors as he was spotted robbing her belly while on vacation in Mexico. Now, the 49 year old rapper and the daughter of 62 year old comedian Steve Harvey were spotted together arriving in Mexico for what seemed like a of vacation and in some of the photos Didi was pictured rubbing her belly. Now as you can imagine many social media users have since been wondering if that was a sign that Lori is pregnant by the rapper and you'll recall that recently Didi and Lori who is rumored to have dated Didi's 25 year old son Justin in the past were pictured hanging out with her parents in Italy. Hmm. <sighs> this particular one makes me just have a personal thing against Didi. Like, I know, like, when um, his ex-baby mama died, passed on, and he dropped all those emotional messages about mm -hmm. how she's the love of his life and how he wishes things were better and she's mm -hmm. had, he was, she was his best friend and all of that. I'm like, okay, it seems like Didi is understanding, you know, for me, oh, this was my, my feeling. What I got from it was like, oh, I feel like he has understood his wrongs and he's going to do better. Then the Cassie thing happened. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. And then now it's someone who has dated your, your, son. your son's... So someone who has dated okay. your son. I don't get it. What is going on so with him? They, people are still saying that it is alleged, like 
it is not like still speculation yeah at speculations the the at the end of the day that she dated the son but the thing again is because i think i can now see what uh, nick cannon was saying the other time mm. saying that this girl is too underage for him but we were saying that this girl is not 18 and the parents know about, about this so maybe we can just get some stuff from what Nick was saying the other time. Maybe we were too hard to on Nick and saying I that, well, we're, Nick dated we're hard on Nick was Mariah Carey, exactly. and Mariah Carey is way older mm -hmm. than Nick. Uh, okay, well. so this whole thing is messy. What is exactly? It, it is really she's messy. She's actually pregnant. I don't know how his son, his son is going to be feeling right now. That's what I'm going and to say. And then he's okay. Has he's so okay. Many children already. He has more than five children already. But like, I don't. What if they're okay with it? It's like, okay, so uh, it's just the case of uh, you dating your best friend's ex, and some people think that well, they're no, not. They're not. They're not. Pods, that is. That is. I don't think that's that the is issue. very, very, very different. Mm -hmm. You are dating your uh, 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 your okay. ex's father. I okay. see. That's like, very so your ex is going to become your stepson. <laughs> hey, so are we just <laughs> going to believe that this was just rumor, something so let, okay, let's that even, we Let's even say that it is rumor that she dated um, his son, right? Even if you look at the fact that he's 49 and she's 22, not only the fact that he's 49 and 22, he has had a series of relationships that ended not so well. Mm. Now you can say Didi is obviously a mature man who knows what he wants. He might not want commitment. He might want to say that I'm fine with the way I'm living living life as long as my children and you know my baby mamas are fine this is what I want to do now here's a 22 year old that is fresh into this world she can have so many kinds of relationship that will be fulfilling to her you're I mean she no matter how you want to say she's 22 she's above 18 she's mature the truth of thing of, of, of the reality of it is that she has not had as much experience as he has had and she doesn't even have the, the choice to say okay this is the word I really want she might be infatuated we don't even know what it is like so it's okay for us to come out and say is she doing the right thing? It's okay for us to question it, even though she's 22. Mm. So I'll I tell you, Amanda, that we mature differently. But, yeah. So mm. you, you can't say that she doesn't even know what she wants. I mean, it can be totally wrong. Hmm. Yes. And finally, well, right um, that. the last post did he put out um, when he was um, talking about his um, late um, baby mama, he said something about how he wished that he had lived differently, he had shown her love and whatever. So maybe this is brand new for him. Now he wants to give love a chance. He wants to genuinely, you know, <sighs> get married to someone. Fingers crossed, guys. We're here. Entertainment news. It's we'll really it fingers crossed. <laughs> I really, I genuinely hope so. Mm. But that's it on entertainment news. We're moving on to our celebrity birthday shout out. Hey. Now celebrating today is English actor Colin Firth and he turns 59 today, and you might remember him from his roles as secret agent Harry Hart in the Kingsman franchise. franchise. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yes, and happy birthday to everyone else celebrating today. You guys are amazing. You rock, okay? Mm, yes, you happy do. Happy birthday to you. Okay. <laughs>